if you have if you have a uh, one of those like this it's called a zero slope because it's flat Last one, if you have one of those like this, a graph that is just straight up and down, then it is undefined. So just to go back real quick, right, start with the warm-up, we define what slope we're, right? So a slope of a line is a steepness of a line, right? It's the rate of change. Right, if we look at these slopes here, right, these can be, it can be, they can be flatter, they can be more steep, they can be towards the negative side, or they can be towards the positive side, right? There's four different types that it can be, okay? Then we talked about the y-intercept, right, right here when it crosses the y-axis, okay? So when we start getting into the actual uh, equations part of it, these points, right, where they cross at the y-axis, that would be your y-intercept. This one doesn't have one, right? That would be your y-intercepts, okay? And it would be an actual numeric value that you will see, okay? And then we're talking about the slope-intercept form, right? So you have y equals mx plus b, okay? The M is, represents your slope or your rate of change. The B represents your y-intercept. Okay? So, that's pretty much the, the, the beginning of it. Okay, so now, let's talk about actual uh, examples of slope-intercept forms, right? So, we have examples of... Slope-intercept... If I put INT, that just means intercept, okay? So don't get confused. All right, so number one. Y equals 12X minus 19. Okay, all we are doing is identifying the slope and identifying the y-intercept, okay? So all we're going to do is identify slope and identify the y-intercept. All right, so what do y'all think the slope is in this one? Okay, they said 12x. Anyone else? Okay, so real quick. Okay, my fault. All right, when we talk about the slope, right? The slope is only which which letter? Oh, very the only M. Right. So when I say the slope, my like in this example, my slope would be M. Right. I wouldn't say my slope is M X. It's just M. Okay. So over here, right? What would my slope be? Just 12, right? Not 12x, just 12. Okay? The x is it's its own variable, right? Y-intercept. Okay? If we look back in our slope-intercept form, right? You have plus b. What is it on our example, though? Is it plus 19? Yeah. It's minus 19, right? Okay, so since it's minus 19, what do you think this, the uh, y-intercept would be? Negative 19. That's all we're doing. All, I, all we're doing is identifying the slope, identifying y-intercept. Okay? Again, the slope is the 12 because it's 12x, so it's just the 12. Right? Your y-intercept is negative 19. 
Okay, number two. So we have h of x equals negative 3x minus 10.5. Okay, for the slope, I, I look, I see here there is a negative 3, right, in front of the x, because that's where my m would be, okay, so my slope would be negative 3. My y-intercept, what's supposed to be plus b, right, in my slope-intercept form, but it's minus 10.5, so my y-intercept is minus negative 10.5. Alright, pretty simple. Once you, uh, once you can identify it, it's pretty simple, okay? So I have y equals negative x plus 5. I'm going to make three more. I have f of x equals uh, 7 minus 8. 7x minus 8. Uh, let's, let's just do those two, okay? All right, so for your, uh, for number three, okay, your slope, you should have got negative one, right? Because remember, it's negative x, that means there's a, just a one in front of it, so negative one is your slope. Your y-intercept, you should have got positive five. Your slope should have been seven, your y-intercept should be negative eight. to talk about how to find right here, how to find your slope given two points. How to find your slope given two points. Okay, I'm going to write this down. You just copy it and I'll explain it. So they say, find, let's see, number one, find the slope given, and then they give you these two points. They give you 120, that's one point, and 50, and 10, that would be another point. Okay. All right, let's say, get, find the slope giving these two points, okay? This formula right here is how to find your slope. Okay, you need me to, right, let's write slope right here on top. So you know what M is. Slope or M, right? So this, 
this symbol here means the change in y, right? Which just shows right here. Y2 minus Y1, okay? So we're going to set it up just like this, right? And then it's the change of X, X2 minus X1, right? So whichever points you make these, it doesn't matter, right? So if I pick this one first, so I say this would be my, uh, my like, first point. So this is going to be my X1. This is going to be my Y1. All, right, all I'm doing is labeling this so I can set it up. This will be my X2. This will be my Y2. The most important thing is when you set it up, right, you have to make sure that this is your X1, this is your Y1. It can't be like, this is my X1 and this is my Y1. Right? You can't just mix them up. Whatever points they're with, whatever coordinate point they're with, that's what you have to use. Okay? So I'm going to set this up. Right? So I have M equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Alright, then I'm just going to fill in, fill in my numbers. For Y2, what do I have for Y2? What do we mark? 10. 10, right? So 10 is my Y2. Minus Y1, minus 20, right? That's my Y1. Over, X2 is 50, minus X1 is 100, right? So I'm, that's how I'm setting it up. All right, so this equals, so 10 minus 20, that gives me negative 10. 50 minus 100 gives me negative 50. Okay, now I divide these two, right? But I can just simplify it. So negative and a negative, that's going to give me a positive, right? Because I'm dividing. 10 divided by 50, right? If I simplify this, all it equals is 1 fifth. Okay? So the slope of this of this line, right, that give, given the two points, is 1 fifth. Okay? So whenever, like, for example, right? So if I'm writing this out, I know that the slope would be y equals... For m, right, it would be 1 fifth, so it would be 1 fifth x plus whatever the y-intercept is, right? I can just write it like this for now, because this is my slope here, right? So th this right here is helping me get my slope. There's going to be problems where they ask you, given these two points, find your slope. You have to be able to find the slope, okay? So this would be my answer, okay? Let's say that they gave it to you in a table. They say use the table to find your slope. Okay, and again, they give you a they give you a table. this table, okay, how many points did they give you in this table? Did they give you three, two, or three? Three, right? There's this one right here, there's this one right here, there's this one right here, okay? How many do you need in order to find a slope? Two. Just two, right? So what two do you want to pick? Uh, one, three. Zero, three. And one, and one is seven? Yeah. Sorry, Ruby, I didn't hear what you said. All right? So we set this up, right? So I'm trying to find my slope. So I say that y e or m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, okay? These two points, right, they look like this. So you need to write them out to help you. They look like 0, 3, and 1, 7, 
right? All we have to do is label Y2 and y, Y1. The first one right here, that will be my, my one. So X1, X2, the one on the bottom will be Y1. I'm sorry, 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 hold up. See, that's what you can do, don't, don't be like me. All right, sorry, X1 and Y1, X2 and Y2, okay? So this is X1, this is Y1, this is X2, this is Y2. All right, so I just fill them in here. So I have Y2 minus Y1, so I have 7 minus 3 over X2 minus X1, 1 minus 0. I simplify that. 7 minus 3 gives me 4. 1 minus 0 gives me 1. So I can still simplify this. So my slope is 4. Okay. So when I would write out the answer, right, I would have y equals 4x. Right. I don't know my y-intercept is, so just leave it as 4x. Okay. So that would be your slope. 